A very warm welcome to all. Today, I, Ria Khanna, a legal intern under Lexis and Company, am here to explain my topic, Combinations under Competition Law. Let us understand what does competition law mean. Competition is a process of economic rivalry between market players to attract customers. Competition also refers to a situation in a business environment where businesses independently strive for the pet patronage of customers in order to achieve their business objective. Free and fair competition is one of the pillars of an effective business environment. In the recent years, the Indian economy has been one of the best performers and is on high growth path infusion of greater degree of competition can play a catalytic role in unlocking the fuller growth potential in many critical areas of the economy. In the interest of consumers and the economy as a whole, it is necessary to promote an environment that facilitates fair competition outcomes in the market restrain anti-competitive behavior and discourage market players from adopting unfair trade practices. Let us understand the Competition Act of 2002. In India, the first competition law was enacted in 1969, which is the Monopolies and Restrictive Trade Practices Act 1969, MRPTP Act 1969. In October 1999, the government of India constituted a high-level committee under the chairmanship of Mr. S. V. S. Raghavan, which was also known as the Raghavan Committee, to advise a modern competition law for the country in line with the international developments and to suggest legislative framework which may entail a new law or suitable amendment in the MRTP Act 1969. Further, after considering the recommendations of the Standing Committee, the Parliament passed December 2002, the Competition Act of 2002. The Competition Act 2002 aims at removing the impediments with the purpose of promoting the competition among the domestic and the foreign companies. The object of this act is to shun the concentration of firms which may lead to make use of anti-competitive practices. The act regulates the various forms of business combinations through Competition Commission of India. The purpose of the Competition Act is not to get rid of the combinations, rather the act aims at wiping out its destructive effects. Now, let us understand the meaning of combination. Broadly, combination under the Act means acquisition of control, shares, voting rights, or assets. Acquisition of control by a person over an enterprise where such person has direct or indirect control over another enterprise engaged in competing businesses and mergers and amalgations between or among enterprises when the combining parties exceed the threshold which is set in the act. In short, combination within the competition law is a merger between two or more enterprise or firms or business sector acquisitions which are, such as companies or firms by other business enterprises. The government controls combinations or mergers and acquisitions within the country to promote competition and thereby seeing to that small-scale establishments are not overshadowed and swallowed by more reputed industries. This is because the merger of big shot companies not only reduce the competition, but also make it difficult and almost impossible for the smaller firms to grow or profit from their businesses. The accumulation of wealth in certain sectors of business and the consumer concerns can lead to major economic and social discrepancies within the nation. Now, there is a threshold for combination under the Competition Act 2002, where it is said a person has uh, the threshold for a person under the Competition Act is that a person having in India assets valued at more than th 10,000 uh, crores or turnover more than 3,000 
uh, 3000 crores second if a person has in india or outside india assets valued at more than uh, 500 million us dollars or turnover of more than 1.5 billion us dollars further combination act uh, competition law act uh, competition act 2002 has also given threshold for combination for a group as well so a group having a threshold in india with assets valued at more than rupees 1000 crores or turnover of more than rupees 3000 crores further a group having assets in india or outside india assets valued at more than 500 million us dollars or a turnover of more than 1.5 billion of us dollars so that is all for today's video we shall be continuing combinations or uh, meaning of combination under the competition act uh, in the next video thank you